certain of Sokoto challenges. Tinubu, Nigerian politicians have been strongly challenged to give to give up their luxurious lifestyles and put the development of living conditions for common Nigerians first. This request was made in His Eminence Muhammad Sa Abubakar III, the Sultan of Sokoto and the head of Jamatu Nasril Islam to Nigerians in his message for Idi Kaba. The Sultan urged President Mola Metinumbu and other new leaders to act right away to ease the suffering of the Nigerian people in light of the difficulties the nation was facing. The Sultan's request that political elites give up their opulent way of life follows President Bola Tinubu's recent visit to Lagos, which came after his attendance at the Paris Finance and his journey to London, although it was anticipated that the President's presence would be low-key. The large motorcade that preceded him garnered harsh criticisms. Videos of the extravagant convoys of SUVs raising in front of and behind the president's official car have been making the rounds on social media in a period of economic difficulty. The extravagant exhibition did not sit well with the Nigerian people. Leading human rights activists, the Jaden Yaju questioned the need for such an opulent convoy on Twitter, especially in light of the strain that the loss of gasoline subsidies have been already placed on Nigeria, Nigerians. He exposed his annoyance and points out the irony of having a president who needs a 120 car convoy leading a nation that is struggling with a tremendous pro poverty. Other social media users agreed, expressing their dismay and cautioning that such actions help to keep corrupt practices among politicians alive. The idea that leaders should set an example by making their own sacrifices during times of economic hardship is what has the public so dissatisfied. Nigerians are calling for accountability and questioning their leaders' readiness to make concessions in light of the current challenges. Political office orders extravagant displays of wealth and power via opulent convoys show a lack of empathy. For the difficulties experienced by many Nigerians, adding to their discontents. Well, what Nigerians are saying is the right thing. You see, all these people, they would defend all manner of things. You see, the reason all these uh, Buhari, uh, Sinubu's men, some of them were trying to speak uh, stylishly during uh, Buhari's time, but not all of them, I say stylishly. You see, if they were really in the oppositions. They would have spoken and spoken and spoken and spoken and, you know, tell or talk what Nigerians are even experiencing, what Nigerians even want to say, even without them saying anything. But one thing is that Nigeria will, must continue to speak because they will, they will always be there to defend. You, you know, the, the nonsense thing going around now is that, uh, oh, some people just want to come and visit him. They want to just come and welcome him because they are not serious. We've said this over and over again because we are a, a, we are an unserious nation. We said of them to be at work on high service. You know that a uh, majority, the reason why majority of them are just there or were there or when they have it, when, according to their own uh, defense, that uh, those uh, convoys were not for Tinubu. If those convoys were not for Tinubus and those those uh, cars or whatever the motorcade they call are for all those uh, politicians, some of them travel all the way from uh, what I don't understand, all their states to come and visit them, to come and visit him, to ask what now. It's not as if they have not seen him before. They were all together. Why before he went to he went to France, so they will continue to defend it. That's I don't even want to go to so, you know, too far. But they will want to look for something just to downplay what Nigerians are talking about. The complaints and the observations of Nigerians, they will want to downplay it. All of those ones that are shining their eyes like crayfish, all these alake or nonuga. Uh, you see that uh, this one says they don't quite small. This, this, these, these days, the one, the one they call uh, Keyamo, FFK, 
the two of them they don't know their fate now i mean they're just like a uh, so they are they, they talk once in a while mm. all of them were shining their eyes you can just imagine they 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 were in oppositions you will know what they would have said you will know that they would have they would have brought the roof of the house down but now some of them who are still talking now because they have given them one one position or the other some of them who are looking for one appointment or the other they are downplaying it nigerians should not give up we will not allow them to intimidate us because even if they are trying to defend it that uh, oh and uh, so uh, all the convoys are not foreseeable what are they looking for somebody just traveled within five days he came back and they are doing all that saying all manner of not they are you know they left all their various places and telling us cock and boo stories that it does not matter it shows that they are serious people he knew quite well and the question that some people are asking because if it were Peter Obi, do you think he would have allowed that nonsense to happen? He would not, because that is not even his lifestyle. Tinumbu is just going around now, boasting up and down that he won election. He evoked spirit. He was possessed. Is this and this and that? Talking about the slogan he made. That is just what he did. He's not even ready for all this nonsense. All this uh, good governance or also all the nonsense uh, be that he signed. All those on the initial gra gra, they go soon tire. We go since we are beginning to see their recall. Even all of those things that they even signed. We cannot see the benefits now. We can't even see any benefits. Instead, Nigerians have been plunged into unimaginable poverty and hardship that you can never think of. So it's just so ridiculous. I'm sure all of them they will say, Ah yes, he did what did what now. He's changing his cabinet, and that was just the only thing he was doing. He had to do them as fast as possible. And the reality will set in. But thank God. You know, some people, they always look at some people as, oh, they don't like good things. They are only antagonizing whatever. Because what they are doing is not right. The issue of a student loan, the issue of a Naira unification, the issue of a subsidy remover. So you think it is something that a well many Nigerians should keep quiet over. No, it's not going to happen. So if they don't want to say anything, that's their own cup of tea. 